Hello everyone, my name is Marek Stefan. I'm a deputy editor in chief in Układ Sił. And today we are on Warsaw Security Forum and uh, my noble guest is uh, Mr. Nils uh, Schmidt, member of uh, German Parliament, uh, Bundestag. Hello, sir. Hello, Marek. Um, let me start our short conversation uh, to the question about uh, what is the future role of the Germany in, uh, in current times uh, in Europe? Because uh, now we are witnessing that um, the era of um, um, Angela Merkel was closed and now we have a new chapter uh, not only in German politics, internal German, um, German politics, but also in um, uh, in Europe, in, in history uh, of, um, of Europe. So um, we have uh, uh, Covid times, we have some uh, crisis on the political level, uh, we have a clash of the Mm, uh, great powers. So um, some experts, some peoples in Europe expect that German shows that uh, the direction, the direction of Europe. And you think that uh, the German political class have a um, spirit and the vision of the future of, uh, of Europe? Well, undoubtedly they are strongly pro-European and any new government uh, that will be constituted in Germany will be pro-European um, because we have four mainstream parties in the German parliament. Out of those, a new coalition will be formed and all these uh, parties are more or less pro-European. And so you can count on Germany to strengthen the European Union in the future also. Um, leadership, um, will not be a German thing alone. So leadership in the European Union always needs um, support from different quarters of the European Union. I think that um, Olaf Scholz is a strong leader in the sense that he wants to get things done, um, that he wants to have a close relationship with the European partners. And uh, during the campaign, he also proclaimed uh, his goal to uh, have a more sovereign uh, and stronger European Union. So um, uh, you can count on Germany to, to be a, a st strong pro-European government. And I hope that, of course, Olaf Scholz will be the next chancellor. So what I can tell from our party's platform is that um, to, to us, um, the European Union is not only about security and diplomacy, it's also about uh, employment and growth, about the transformation of the economy. And um, I think that we need to invest more into the future of our economies and uh, of our employment. And um, we now have the new generation fund, uh, which is going to be implemented by the EU. And Olaf Scholz was instrumental and uh, uh, crucial in, in um, implementing it. And so I think we will see more of that uh, coming out of a new German government, a showing financial solidarity and having a strong tendency uh, to, uh, to invest more in, in, in new technologies and to uh, sustain the competition with the US and China uh, in the economic sphere. Um, and you can also count on um, Germany to put Europe first, yes. that is, um, to be open to compromises with the European partners. Uh, I think this is very important, not only when it comes to Russia, but also when it comes to China. I think the China challenge is much more, uh, it's much broader than the threat uh, posed by Russia, which is purely military, which is, uh, of course, uh, uh, very important, uh, especially to countries like Poland. But the challenge arising from China is, is much larger because it also um, um, has a technology and uh, business dimension. Yes. So. Um, uh in this in this dimension, the the, the economic dimension, you think that uh, mm, what is the point of view of your party, SPD, 
to um, to this uh, competition with uh, um, between Europe and China, because uh, uh, we saw um, uh, in the past that uh, Germany uh, don't want. Uh, choose the sides of, of this conflict, don't want to support um, uh, United States or um, in different way uh, the China, they want to be a uh, uh, next pole, yes, of, of in, this, in this era of um, great power competition. So do you think now uh, when we still wait for the another uh, German government, uh, the next uh, chancellor want to decide that what Germany do in this case? Well, first of all, let me be very clear. Uh, we have already chosen 70 years ago when we joined NATO and the European Economic Union. So in terms of values, uh, of course, Germany and the whole of the European Union is on the side of the US, Canada and others. Um, in terms of economic cooperation, there might be divergences uh, because um, uh, we have more trade uh, and more investment going on with China than the US has. So the European Union is uh, more dependent in, in trade terms uh, on, on the Chinese market than uh, the US is. But still, I think we need to uh, become more, more independent also in economic terms uh, from China. So we need to diversify our investment, our trade. That's why I'm very much in favor of new regional free trade arrangements of the European Union with other regional markets like ASEAN or Mercosur. And we also need to understand and make understand our American friends that we should avoid another Cold War with arms races and all this stuff. Uh, we need more confidence building measures in the Indo-Pacific, for example. Um, Still, we have to acknowledge the systemic rivalry dimension of uh, what's going on in China. And uh, we have to defend and protect our democracies from foreign malign interference and also from kleptocratic uh, elements. Uh, I think that um, uh, international tax uh, equality, international agreements on uh, combating illicit uh, finance, uh, finance uh, is, is, is very important for the future of our democracy. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much uh, for the conversation. My yeah. guest was uh, uh, Niels Schmidt.